This is part 16 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss using cliff icons with Bootstrap. Bootstrap icons are provided by cliff icons. There are over 250 glyphs. As cliff icons are font based, the color and size automatically adjust to the element color and size on which it is being used. If this statement is not clear at the moment, don't worry, we'll look at an example and it will make it clear. Here is the URL where you can find the list of all available glyphs for use with Bootstrap. So when we navigate to that page, we can see all the glyph icons here. So how to use these glyph icons with Bootstrap? Let's understand that with an example. Let's say we want to display a search icon on a button element as you can see here. Doing this is very easy. All you have to do is nest a span element inside a button element and then the value for the class attribute of that span element will be the name of this icon. So if you look at the list of icons we have got, notice here we have the search icon and its name is glyph icon, glyph icon dash search. So basically these are class names. So we will set these classes on the class attribute of the span element that is nested inside the button element. Let's look at that in action. So let's flip to Visual Studio. So let's include a button element and the text on that button is going to be search. So let's save this and when we reload this page right here we should get a button element and on the left hand side we want the search icon. So I'm going to include a span element nested inside the button element and the class attribute value will be the name of the icon and let's copy that name from our list right here. So the name is glyph icon, glyph icon dash search. Let's save the changes and when we reload this page, notice now we have a search icon on the button. But then if you look at the search icon and this text, there is no space between that icon and the text. To include the space, all you have to do is include space between the span element and the text, save the changes, reload the page and we get the space. At the moment the icon is on the left hand side. If you want it on the right hand side all you have to do is move that span element to the right hand side of that text and you will have the search icon on the right hand side. Let's reload this page. Notice now we have the search icon on the right hand side. Now if you want only the icon and you don't want the text all you have to do is remove that text from the button element and you'll get just the icon. We just said that glyph icons are font based so their color and size automatically adjust to the element color and size on which it is being used. Let's prove this. Notice here on this button we have black text on a gray background and look at the color of the search icon. It's also black which matches the font color. What if we have a different font color? What if we have a button like this? Notice here the font color is white on a blue background. Also notice the color of the search icon. It matches the color of the font. Let's look at this in action. Let's flip to Visual Studio. I'm going to apply the button classes on this button element. I'm going to apply BTN and BTN primary. So this BTN primary class should give us a blue background with white font color. I'm also going to include that search text on the button. Let's save our changes and when we reload this page notice we get the icon color matching with the font color as expected. Let's now discuss how the size of an icon automatically changes depending on the size of the element on which it is being used. Right here we've got three buttons with three different sizes and look at the search icon. Its size also automatically changes depending on the size of the button on which it is being used. Let's look at this in action. I'm going to make two more copies of this button. On the first button I'm also going to use BTN LG class along with the rest of the two classes. So this BTN LG class is going to give us a large button. On the second button I'm going to use BTN SM which gives us a small button and on this final button let's use BTN XS which is going to give us an extra small button. Let's save our changes and when we reload this page notice we get three buttons with different sizes and look at the search icon. Its size also automatically changes. 
Thank you for listening and have a great day.